welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian and today I have a week's worth of school lunches. So for an entire week, I filmed all my kids at lunches. I filmed while I was prepping it. Then I filmed after to show you guys exactly what they had for lunch. And then I also filmed when they got home from school. I showed you guys how much they ate and how much was left from their lunches. Other than Friday, because I completely forgot on Friday once I got home from picking them up from school to film how their lunch boxes look. So Friday, I wasn't able to show you guys, but Monday through Thursday, I did show you guys how their lunch boxes look like. And since it is October and we love Halloween, I decided to make their lunches a little festive for Halloween. Mostly Ryan, just because one, Madison really doesn't like cold food, so I can't make her like a pumpkin lunch meat sandwich or a pumpkin peanut butter and jelly sandwich because she just will not eat it. And then also I can't put like the pigs and little spiders in her food because she puts everything in her mouth. And although I'm sure the teachers do watch her while she's eating lunch, I'm just super paranoid that she'll still put them in her mouth and the teacher won't catch her. So I did try to make hers a little festive as well, mostly just putting like Halloween stickers on her snacks. But like I said, it's gonna be mostly Orion's lunches that I made super festive. So I'm gonna give you guys a week's worth of school lunches. And also my kids are super picky when it comes to eating. So I'm very limited on the things that I can actually pack them for lunch. I try to stick to things that I know they like and that they will eat at school because I don't want them to be hungry at school. So super limited on the things I can pack them for school, but this is gonna be a week's worth of school lunches. I also wanna quickly mention that this video is also super exciting because I will be collabing with two amazing fellow YouTube mamas. So the first one is Danny from The Bueno Bunch and you guys already know who she is. I've collabed with her many times in the past. We've been friends here on YouTube for a while. But if you're not familiar with Danny over on her channel, she has a lot of similar content like mine. So anything you can find on my channel, you're going to find on Danny's channel. So cleaning and organizing, vlogs, shopping videos, hauls, you name it, she has it. She has a lot of lifestyle and motherhood videos. I love her and like I said, you guys probably already know who she is since we've collabed so many times in the past. So the second mama is Jennifer from House of Hunts and she is a mama of three and she actually has two channels. So first channel is called House of Hunts and she does a lot of like lifestyle and motherhood videos over there. She'll, she'll do vlogs, days in the life. She does cooking videos. She'll do shopping and hauls, you name it. Anything that has to do with like motherhood and lifestyle, she does over on that channel. And her second channel is called Cleaning the Chaos and she has a ton of super motivational cleaning videos over on that channel. If you guys are looking for some motivation to get some things done around in your house, you definitely need to also check out her second channel. I'm gonna leave all the links down below in my description box, so I will leave both of Jennifer's channels down below as well as Danny's channel. They both will be doing a week's worth of school lunches over on their channel. So you guys can get a ton of different school lunches for your little ones. Now, if you're coming over from either Danny or Jennifer's channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian Starling. I am a stay-at-home mom to two. I live in Georgia. I'm also a special needs mom to my daughter who is autistic. And if you enjoy today's video, I would love for you to consider subscribing and join me and my YouTube family. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, you guys, so for Monday's lunch, I usually try to pack the kids lunch the night before. So this was on Sunday night, I was packing the kids Monday lunch. I was just making Ryan a lunch meat sandwich and then I was shaping it as a pumpkin. And then as you guys can see, I'm gonna be cutting up some fruit. So on this day, I was giving the kids some grapes. Also, I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers. And then Madison, she likes warm food better than cold. Every time I pack her up a like cold lunch, whether it is just like cold lunch, lunch meat or a sandwich she never eats it so she's going to be eating some leftovers from dinner so that will be warmed up in the morning i'm pretty much just doing ryan's lunch and then just cutting up some fruit for her as well all right guys so this is the kids monday lunch starting off with ryan he has a lunch meat sandwich shaped as a pumpkin and then i have some string cheese that i just drew on a little ghost with a black sharpie and then over here he has some grapes. I just put a little pumpkin pick in with some cucumbers. And then in this little bag, I have some chips for him. And then I just have a mini water bottle that's a little ghost. So that's Ryan's lunch. And then Madison doesn't like cold food, so she's having some leftovers from dinner. I just warmed up really quickly and put it in her thermos. And then I have this Larabard kid. It's just like a little um brownie. She got some grapes as well. And then a strawberry banana yogurt. I usually will put like Halloween stickers on it, but I can't find the stickers, but she's gonna have some of that. And then also a water bottle. I don't put the picks in Madison's just because she will put it in her mouth. And although the teacher does watch her, 
just freaks me out. So I usually don't put the pics in hers, but that's both of the kids' Monday lunch. All right, you guys, so the kids are back home from school. So I'm gonna show you guys everything they ate. So Madison ate all of her leftovers that we have for dinner. I packed her, it was like pasta with ground um, chicken. So she ate all of that and she ate all of her grapes. And then the other two things I had was yogurt and that little Lara bar um, brownie, which she ate it's not in her lunchbox. Then Ryan ate his cheese stick. He ate his entire lunch meat sandwich. He ate majority of the grapes and then majority of the cucumbers. Looks like there's only like one cucumber left. And I'm surprised he didn't finish all his chips, but he does have some chips left in the bag. So that's everything that the kids ate for Monday lunch. And for Tuesday's lunch, I'm just quickly doing this in the morning. So Ryan's gonna get a mini peanut butter bagel. I just quickly toasted that and then I will add a little bit of peanut butter. They also are gonna have some fruit. So on this day, I decided to give them some strawberries. Ryan also is going to be getting some carrots. And then Madison, I just put some taquitos in the air fryer. All you have to do is put it in there for maybe like five minutes and it cooks it up and then I put it in her thermos. Like I said, she just refuses to eat cold food. So I always have to make her something different. I always try to have some leftovers from the night before from dinner and then that's what she will eat for lunch the following day but sometimes we just don't have leftovers so then i just have to compromise and find something else all right you guys so this is the kids tuesday lunch so starting with ryan i just made him a bagel with peanut butter and then i put these vampire teeth in the middle and then he's gonna have this annie's cookie dough with like a little protein bar and i just added some halloween stickers on there he has some strawberries with a spider and then he also has some carrots and then again he'll just have a little mini water bottle and then at madison i made taquitos in the little air fryer i can even open this with one hand all right so i just cut up some taquitos in there for her and then she has this moss applesauce i love the applesauce it is in a clear pouch now and then i also put some halloween stickers on there for her she has some annie bunny um cheddar crackers some strawberries and then she also has a water bottle so that is the kids tuesday lunch once they get home i will show you guys everything that they ate all right so the kids are back from school so i'm going to show you everything that they ate so madison ate all of her taquitos that i made this morning which i knew she would because she loves those and then i don't I'm not sure if she even touched her strawberries she might have just eaten a few but there's still quite a few in there and then she also had applesauce and the bunny crackers and that's gone because it's not in her lunch box and then ryan he ate his peanut butter um mini bagel he ate his granola bar or a little protein bar he ate his strawberries and then he ate most of his carrots there's three carrots left so that is how the kids' lunch boxes look for Tuesday after school. So for Wednesday's lunch, I also did this really quickly in the morning. I made Ryan a grilled cheese sandwich, and then Madison, I made a cheese and spinach quesadilla. I would have made one for Ryan as well, but he doesn't like quesadillas. He hates them, so he did not get one. He just got a grilled cheese. Once I am done cooking that up, I'm going to shape Ryan's as a bat. I would have done the same thing for Madison with her quesadilla, but it was too small to do that. So just shaped Ryan's as a bat, and then I just cut up Madison's. They also will be getting an apple some oranges and then ryan doesn't like um cooked veggies he'll only eat them raw so i did give him some spinach i just didn't cook his i just left them raw <laughs> So for the kids Wednesday lunch, this is what I packed them. So I just finished making Ryan a grilled cheese sandwich and I just shaped as a little bat. And then he'll also have some of the Stonyfield blueberry yogurt. And then he doesn't like his um, veggies cooked, so he'll eat them raw. So I gave him some spinach and then some oranges and then there was leftover at Madison's apple. So I just put it with his oranges. And then he's also going to get this um, chocolate milk. I also packed in for like a little treat. I usually get the Annie's um, fruit snacks, but I decided to get them the fruit roll-ups this time. And these are like little Halloween ones. It's called Boo Scary. So that'll be like your little treat inside your lunchbox. And then for Madison, she has some apples. She also has the little fruit roll-up um, blueberry with a chocolate milk. She also has some yogurt. And then she's not big on grilled cheese, so I just made her um, a little quesadilla and then I put spinach and cheese inside. So that'll be Madison's lunch. All right, you guys, so we are back home from school. So I'm showing you guys everything that the kids ate. So for Madison, she ate all of her apples 
And then she ate all of her quesadillas that I made, the cheese and spinach quesadillas. And I'm surprised she did not eat her yogurt because she really loves these yogurts. So I'm surprised she didn't eat that. And then she also ate her granola bar that I gave her. Ryan ate all of his spinach, apples, and strawberries. Of course, he ate his fruit roll-up. And then he didn't eat his grilled cheese. He said he didn't have enough time to eat it. So he didn't even touch his grilled cheese. Did I pack anything else? Oh, and yogurt. And he ate his yogurt. So that is everything that the kids had for lunch today and how much they ate. Moving on to Thursday's lunch. I'll be making Madison this Annie's gluten-free mac and cheese. Ryan's going to get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I found this idea on Pinterest to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches into like spiders. So you have to just shape them into circles. I didn't have like a cookie cutter that was shaped as a circle. So don't judge. I used a measuring cup to make them into circles. And then you had to add pretzel sticks, but I didn't have pretzel sticks on hand and I just didn't feel like going out and buying another bag of pretzels when I already have one big bag of regular pretzels. So I just cut those up and made them into the legs for his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now you're going to see Madison in that corner right there. She was sneaking pretzels. Yes, it was morning. She already ate breakfast, but she decided to steal some pretzels. But also there are other sides that you will be having is apples, grapes, and cucumbers. <laughs> So for the kids Thursday at lunch, this is what I have prepared for them. So I made Ryan a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I tried to make them into spiders. That one wasn't a perfect circle, but these are just peanut butter sandwiches with um, pretzel sticks. So you're, it was technically supposed to be actual pretzel sticks, but I didn't feel like buying pretzel sticks when I had a whole bag of just like the regular pretzels. So I just broke those in half. And then these mini donuts, which I was originally going to put the vampire teeth in, but since they're mini ones, the vampire teeth were too big, so I just stuck some spiders in there. And then he has some cucumbers and some apples to drink. He has one of these Honest Kids um, fruit punches, and I just put a little pumpkin sticker on there, so that's Ryan's one. And Madison in this little pumpkin bag, she has two of the mini chocolate donuts. And then she has some apples and grapes. And here she has some gluten-free um, Annie's mac and cheese that I made really quickly. Some Mott's applesauce with some Halloween stickers on it. And then she also has the same Honest drink. And I put a little pumpkin sticker on hers as well. So that's what the kids are eating for Thursday. All right, you guys. So we are back home from school now. So Ryan did pretty good. He ate all of his peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He ate both his donuts. And then he only has two cucumbers left. And then he ate all of his fruit as well. Madison ate majority of her fruit and honestly I don't even know if she touched this it looks like she might have taken maybe one or two bites from it but that's about it let me know if your kids do the same thing where they come home sometimes with their lunchbox full so it looks like she might have taken one or two bites from there and then she also had two mini donuts and some applesauce and that's not in her lunchbox so I'm guessing that she ate that so that is how the kids lunches look for thursday and the last halloween school lunch idea i have for you guys is these spider hot dogs i found this also on pinterest it was kind of a fail but ryan still ate it madison did not like it so i did end up making her something different but basically you're supposed to cut up a hot dog into fourths and then make slits on the end of the hot dogs then wrap the pillsbury dough around the center of it and bake it for about five to ten minutes now the end result of mine did not look like spiders. Next time, I'm just going to cut them in half. I just feel like they were too small when I cut them. So next time I do this, I will just cut it in half and then maybe it'll come out better. I'll also leave the recipe down below if you guys would like to follow that and try to make it for your kids. I did have a lot of extra dough. I didn't want to go to waste. So I ended up just making like these little mozzarella rolls. Basically, I just took some mozzarella sticks. I cut them up and then I put it in the center of the dough and baked it for like 10, 15 minutes and the kids loved it.
guys so this is how the hot dogs come out they're supposed to look like spiders they do not look like spiders but on pinterest it said to cut the hot dog in fourths so that's why i cut it into four pieces and then like cut the ends to make like the legs but i feel like if i would have just cut it in half once it would have been better so yeah just an fyi if you guys want to make these for your kids just cut them in half once i think that'll be fine but it's okay the kids will still enjoy them for lunch i'm gonna go ahead and pack this up and then warm it again in the morning for their lunch so friday morning i did have to make madison some lunch because she didn't like the hot dogs so i just put some chicken nuggets in the air fryer they're just tyson dinosaur chicken nuggets i put about four of them in the air fryer for about five minutes and then i'm going to cut it up into like bite-sized pieces and put it in her thermos ryan's going to get the hot dogs with some oranges blueberries and i believe i also gave him some cucumbers and then also these like little debbie bat brownie cakes they looked so good but i gave that for the kids as treats and then madison's also going to have a fruit and veggie pouch <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be the kids Friday lunch. So I'm going to tell you guys what they're eating. But before I do, I did have the kids try those little spider hot dogs that I made last night just to make sure they liked them before I packed it for their lunch. So Madison did not like it, but Ryan did. So Madison is going to have some chicken nuggets. I just cooked her some chicken nuggets really quickly in the air fryer and then cut them up and put them in her thermos. And then Ryan's just going to have the hot dogs. So just want to let you guys know before you guys see it and wonder why. Madison isn't having the hot dogs either because she just didn't like it. My kids are super picky, so I tried, but hey, I still made her some chicken nuggets. She loves chicken nuggets, so I'm gonna show you guys everything that they're gonna have. All right, so Friday. this is the kids' Friday lunch. So for Ryan, he's having those little spider hot dogs with a string cheese, some broccoli, blueberries, and some oranges. For his sweet treat, I'm packing them these little, I think they're brownies, like frosted brownies, and it's a little bat, and then a mini water bottle. Madison is just gonna have some chicken nuggets I cut up and put in her thermos and then she loves these little cold presses this is by once upon a farm this one is the green kale and apples and I just put a bunch of really cute Halloween stickers on those she also is gonna get a string cheese oranges and then she also has one of those like little bat brownies and then a little mini water bottle so that is the kids Friday lunch. All right guys, so that is going to end my Halloween school lunch ideas. I hope you guys found some ideas from today's video to pack for your little ones, make it a little festive for Halloween if you do celebrate Halloween. Like I said, I'm super limited on the things that I can pack because my kids are so picky. Also, don't forget to head over to Danny and Jennifer's channel, see what they packed for their kids for the week and get some more ideas for your little ones. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not already, subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and I'll see you guys next time.